possible cause to fix an overpass outside of Vancouver after a truck slammed into it. But there is a high price to pay for the trucking company. All of its vehicles have been pulled off the road. CTV's Kamal Karamali is a look at what happened. It was a nightmare for motorists yesterday on a major highway south of Vancouver when it was shut down after a truck slammed into an overpass. BC's transportation minister laying down the hammer, suspending the company's safety certificate after six infrastructure crashes in two years. This means the company's entire fleet of 65 commercial vehicles will be unable to operate in BC. Furthermore, the driver and the carrier responsible will face the toughest fines in the country. Every day that company is shut down, they are foregoing tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. That's what gets the message across. It's an attempt to slam the brakes on these incidents. The latest crash, the 31st in two years across B.C. of a commercial vehicle hitting an overpass. In Ottawa, a collision on Christmas Day. Multiple incidents also taking place in Calgary and near Toronto this year. Trucking associations say driving schools are skimping on training. The trucking schools, you know, they spit them out faster. There is a, a demand for drivers, so it's to get them trained as fast as possible in the seat behind the wheel. Brought on by increasing economic pressures. Some of it's due to personnel shortages, some of it's due to equipment shortages. At this BC Trucking School, a renewed focus on making sure drivers check their vehicle's measurements before hitting the road. It's also the responsibility of the uh, carriers. You know, once you hire a new driver, uh, they should also go through a uh, training program. Trucking associations now say these penalties in B.C. send a very strong message to companies across the country in hopes they'll invest in better training for their drivers. Morella? Thanks, Kamal.